I'm not sure if you heard the song, but there's this song. You can't even beat a hook. When, and I got that on my iPhone. When I hear that song, oh my gosh, my Uncle Jeff song is on. I mean, you can't even beat a hook. He's I got a friend that actually has a <clears throat> website just for fishing. Yeah. He's very competitive when it comes to fishing. What's the biggest fish you ever caught? I caught a 10 pounder on my Mitchell, which Mitchells are the absolute best. The great, I mean, I, uh, come on, I, that's not I caught my 10 pounder, it bottomed the scale, I don't know exactly. ALD is a, is a devastating disease that affects the brain and other vital organs in the body. And it is a devastating but treatable disease. We were over on the beach and we went camping we, uh, Jeremy loves to fish, so I took him deep sea fishing for the first time. Um, he had he had such a good time, and uh, when he woke up the next morning, or when we woke up the next morning, Jeremy didn't. Jeremy was unconscious, and it uh, took water splashing on his face to get him to open his eyes, and all he could say was, I am, I am, I am. So what originally happened with Jordan is he um, got chicken pox and strep throat at the same time and he basically went into an adrenal crisis. We didn't know that's what he was going through. Um, he, I came home from work one night and he was laying next to Joe and um, he looked funny and I was like something's wrong with him. We tried to wake him up, he wouldn't wake up, realized that obviously something was wrong, put him in the car and rushed to emergency room. What I did find was that about 75% of the students coming out of medical school that I met actually had not even heard of the disease or if they had, the only, uh, the only contact they had was by seeing the movie Lorenzo's Oil, which is basically about the family struggle to find something for their son, not really enough to educate anybody about what the disease is or how to diagnose it. Treatments are in some in some instances very easy. One of the curative treatments is simply a daily oral steroid supplement for adrenal gland dysfunction. Uh, the other treatment for the more severe form of the disease, uh, which is a severe inflammatory progressive brain disease, is bone marrow transplant. I can cite my own experience with my seven and a half year old son that he started exhibiting symptoms uh, that were diagnosed with attention deficit disorder, the number one misdiagnosis for this disease. Uh, recurring viral infections, which we learned later was adrenal insufficiency and childhood onset migraines. And had he, um, had they performed a CAT scan at that point, it would have been determined that he had accumulation of white matter in his brain. And he would have been referred to a neurologist who would have probably picked up on the fact that he had ALD, got him on uh, the cortisone that's the life-saving for the Addison's part of the disease. And having got that under control, we may have been able to go through with a bone marrow transplant. But it took well over a year and um, to diagnose him, and a traumatic year, frustrating, talking to doctors, you're like, no, you know, they make you think you're crazy. <laughs> um, you know, with all due respect, they're doing the best they can, but it's, at that time especially, the disease was so rare that nobody, I spent more time educating doctors than anything else. Jeremy was diagnosed very late, and they did not recommend to have a bone marrow transplant because he uh, had gone, his, his brain had suffered so much damage, but Jeremy was doing very well. At that time, Jeremy could see, um, you know, he, he was able to do everything that he was doing before. And so they left it up to us and we decided, yeah, we want to do whatever we could to save Jeremy's life. Bone marrow transplantation is the definitive treatment. It halts the disease in its tracks. A delay of even a few weeks can mean the difference between life and death for ALD children. That makes it imperative medically and morally, that we catch the disease as early as possible. But we have to implement the therapies before symptoms start, before there's any cerebral involvement. And the only way to make sure that happens is by the newborn screening so that the parents and the physicians can monitor the boys. And when they see symptoms develop, they can get them to the right, to the bone marrow transplant, to the gene therapy, whatever is appropriate for, for that patient. So now is the time to add ALD to the mandatory newborn screening program. So as a doctor and scientist who's very uh, 
uh, familiar with ALD. I study this and I treat patients with this disease. I would rank newborn screening as the single top priority for the ALD community. We can do something about future generations of ALD patients if it is detected by newborn screening and as a result treated before the onset of ALD's devastating symptoms. If you had the, the, the option to save a child from going through something so devastating, and the, the hard thing about this disease as well is it, it is devastating. You literally watch your child over a two year period of time slip away. Um, it started with not being able to hear, not being able to see, mom I got bees in my head to an, an incredibly active child can no longer walk, can no longer talk. How can you watch that and be okay with it and know that if <clears throat> he just had a blood test we might have been able to avoid that. I, I don't know how you could live with yourself and not do it. It's a simple choice. It's not complicated. If it's your child, you will do anything. And if it's something simple, why can't you do it for everybody? It's simple. It's just a blood test.